Hello, Cancer. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, it's time for your December reading for this current year. Right? At least the beginning. Um, I'm not going to do a December to January reading. I'm going to do it all over 2019. New Year reading. Right? So. Be prepared for that. But I'm going to go through all through 12 months. So no worries. Right? Right. So we're going to start your reading momentarily. After these messages. I didn't realize there was actually going to be singing in the song. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, no whammies. Hey, right, Cancer. Let's see what we got for ya. Lay down. Oh, that. Just for trying to recover from that. Yeah, that sucks, man. Ooh. Aww. That's kind of, um, weird. That's really weird, Cancer. I'm just, I'm, I'm just looking at this like, okay, look it, right? What's going against you is a wish fulfillment. You're going to get what you wished for. But it's going to leave you... It's going to leave you, like, emotionally possibly like just throwing yourself everywhere but on the outside nothing like you know just walling your emotions up to yourself and leaving everybody to guess what you're actually doing like that's what you want you want people not to know how you actually feel and you're putting up a face while you're trying to be creative but in truth all those comes like they they're they're kind of empty looking are you trying to draw these cups but coming up with, like, a, a weird fish person? Like, that's how emotionally confused you possibly are? I mean, because this wish fulfillment down here are going against you. Oh! And someone isn't being honest with their feelings, right? Beginning theme. Queen of Wands reverse. Is someone being mega bitch mountain, right? Someone who's possibly lying or, being, or acting like a little liar who feels like they're justified in being petty. Someone who isn't exactly being the nicest lady, right? She is, like, she has confidence, but she also is arrogant. And she doesn't want to listen, I feel like. I feel like she doesn't need to listen. Or she's refusing to. Like, maybe she's got that wand because she doesn't care. There's a spear on the end and she doesn't, and she'll use it if you cross her kind of bitchiness. Like, she doesn't put up with shit, and she's definitely not in the mood for your shit. So over here we have this Three of Swords Reverse, right? It's like pile driver to the heart. And someone is being really indecisive and just wanting to cut everybody out and down. With the Queen of Swords reverse. Like in the past, like this person was just being quite cruel, being hypercritical, being really in themselves to pay attention to anything, right? And then we have the lovers where somebody was separated from somebody, or maybe the relationship wasn't too good because, like, there's a snake and it's making the dude toxic and he's kissing the woman. And someone needed to really weigh their options out on that. Like, someone needs to look at this possible really bad breakup or relationship situation and really weigh out what it is that cause someone to feel heartbroken and want to be vindictive, possibly, in the first place. Because this is, like, someone being way too critical of others and, like, trying to... When I say this... <sighs> it, it's like someone is trying to demonstrate somebody else's flaws in order to cover up the ones they had in the past. Because she's looking to the past. And she's willing to, like, cut out whatever I feel like it is that could come against her by being overly critical about other things. Like, looking at other transgressions in the past in order to justify her cutting out and being hypercritical to others. Like, you know, that whole, when people think that people are judging them, like, no, that's not judgment. That's just people, like, Saying whatever they can because they see something wrong. What gets to people is when people say that shit and act like they are better than somebody. 
You know, that whole vibe of like authority on it. That's what gets people. That's why people don't like judgment. To me, anyway. But I'm a Capricorn. And judgment is a natural instinct for me. We just don't do it very often. We don't follow it very often because, like, you know, we like to give people chances. But in this case, this person is not giving somebody a chance. It could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And someone really needs to weigh out their options when it comes to acting like that. Because it's not, because it didn't do anything good in the past. Yeah. Someone's definitely like hiding their fucking real emotions and being stoic because they are suffering that heartbreak still. Like they want to hide that they're broken hearted. Ooh, yeah. And now they got their wish and now nothing's getting worked out. That's what's going against you. Okay. That makes sense. That kind of makes sense. Like, you're hypercritical over what happened in the past with the heartbreak, and you're still suffering with this heartbreak, but you don't want anybody to know. And it's working. That's the, that's the thing. <laughs> um, for whoever this is in your life, Cancer, if this is you or somebody else, their wish is being granted. They are hiding it successfully, but now whatever it is that like was supposed to be worked out, maybe in a work situation or where you're trying to get your skills, maybe you were trying to invest in something with some sort of craftsmanship or talent you have in like the work area, since this is a pentacle and this makes sense because this is this dude's job. He's standing on a bench for a reason. <laughs> like, you know, it has something to do with work and it could be this isn't working now. Or maybe this is causing you to actually damage your reputation at your job or career. Because it's it, it, it's it's not beneficial. If it's dealing with other people, you're getting your wish. But now if you were hoping to um, reconcile with somebody, maybe, like, you might have just... Like, I, like, I don't want to say you might have ruined your chances, but you're definitely not helping them. I mean, uh, there's somebody over here, Cancer, where, like, that person is a... Uh, they are not they are just showing for entertainment they're showing for show these false emotions are none at all and this risk that's going on in their fear they fear that they're gonna have to like move on with their cups over all this regret like they have regrets but they have to keep going like i like in this i feel like whatever risk they took they're willing to take these cups and leave but they're still mourning over the situation they haven't left yet like they can take their cups and go and get over it. they just haven't yet and that has something to do with the fear of the risks of that happening. And down here in the catalyst as well as the finale or the final result, we have someone hiding their real emotions and just having a dead fish in a cup, acting like that twinkle is real when in reality it's like aluminum foil getting shined on with a flashlight or some shit. Like, they're, they're, they're expressing a image of emotion, but it's not real emotion. You know? Like, could be Scorpio, could be Pisces, could be you, Cancer, like I've been saying, but it's somebody who is not being true about themselves, who's hiding things, who's being really immature about it, too, let's say. Like, they're, they actually are being pretty immature by hiding how they really feel, either for a good reason or not, but they're coming to regret it and knowing that they cut over it because it was a risk. It was like, I don't know. Yeah. They were doing this in order to get whatever they wanted. To be satisfied. To have abundance and everything. They were hiding what they were doing. For whatever reason. Oh dear. Now two cards came up. And it is someone. Okay. Someone is being arrogant about a lover's relationship. There's the card for Gemini again. Someone got really arrogant. And now they're kind of bitter they're kind of petty they're kind of um not being cool it sounds so familiar i don't know why though hmm. but yeah cancer like someone like it got really arrogant about a relationship and now they're to a point of like being over domineering not being fair like being dramatic being mean being bitchy like it's not cool Right? And, and then they were arguing about this relationship and they didn't listen. And now they got to wait to their options about a breakup. Like, 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 that's the situation now. This is already what's happened. But this is the situation now. Like, someone's really got to wait their options about this 
relationship that broke up because someone was being really mean and like critical with the Queen of Swords reverse and just cutting people down all because they were hurt. I mean, that's really what it comes down to. Like, like um, someone got their feelings hurt and decided to take it out on everybody else around them, including possibly the person who hurt them. Be and now they're being a little bit insecure about that. <laughs> Like, like they, they just want to hang on to that, and now there's really no new start to this. Because they were so busy, like, trying to hide that they were heartbroken that they succeeded, and now something isn't going to get worked out. Or something at work might not work out. It, it went against their intentions. They got what they wished for. They hit their... Uh, like, I feel like they got what they wished for, which is, like, literally up here. Because this is the wish and wanting position. They got what they wished for, and it just fucked them. It, it went completely behind what backwards to what they were trying to do and now they're hanging on to this position and ensuring that there's no new beginning you know like they're making sure that they um you know, like whether they realize it or not which i doubt that they do like to the extent of what they're thinking like they don't realize how bad they did it and now like they're giving up like they're giving up this these ten of cups and, and and like being false in their expression and they're giving up these risks to try to get over something i feel like like they, they have regrets and i feel like they can get over it any time but i don't think they've done that because they've given up or uh, guilty i don't know but yeah, like, that's what it feels like. Like, someone just gave up. But that is yours, Cancer, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.